So we just got back from a week away in Silverton, Colorado. We went to a couple other places, but this video is mostly about um, our shenanigans in Silverton with a full-size truck. So we have gone to this area almost every year for over a decade. I say almost because there's a couple years where we've gone other places or whatever, or where I think I was out of state one year, so we yeah. didn't go. We went to Utah really briefly. But anyway, <clears throat> this was the first year we've ever taken anything but the Jeep because we could put the tent easily on the truck. We can't put the tent easily on the Jeep, and we just really needed to get away. Um, um, it was an incredible trip, but we did a couple of our usual passes. We did California Pass. No, we started, we did Red Mountain, we did Corkscrew, went into the valley, we had lunch at a really cool spot, and then we went up to Hurricane Pass, and then somebody decided that we were going to do Poughkeepsie from the top down, which we hadn't ever done. We only ever did Poughkeepsie Gulch from the opposite direction. I don't even know where it starts, but... Yeah, it starts down <clears> the bottom. We knew it was a complicated and we knew it, trail. We knew it was probably the second, if hardest, trail in the entire area, I think. Black Bear is technically the mm, hardest trail. Pretty, I think for off-roading, I think it's the most, one of the more technical ones. But um, somebody thought mm. that he was going to be able to handle it in his full-size truck. In my defense, oh, yes. when we did it, yeah. like, you know, a decade ago, it right. wasn't nearly as chewed up as it was. Because trails don't change in 10 years. No, they don't. No. Apparently, no, no. they really changed this no. past year from everybody we've talked to after the fact. So... We, uh, it was a beautiful day, as you can tell, the sun was out, and this is honestly one of my favorite sections of Silverton mm -hmm. because the gulch itself is just absolutely spectacular. It is so beautiful, it's got trees, we saw a herd of deer, it was just absolutely wonderful. We saw one Jeep who didn't even like look at us, and then we saw a guy on a dirt bike and he just made some comment about, oh yeah, it's just kind of rough, like, that's weird. But he was, he was like, it's really chewed up and choppy now. But he's local, so this is kind of a trail he does all the time, and he was on two wheels, not four. Yeah, but it should have been a flag, or right. like even the bike guys, like it's really messed up. Right. So we start heading down the trail, and as you can tell, it was kind of brutal. And I'm videoing, and I remained pretty quiet, but there was a lot of like, Ooh, ah, every time this, the the uh, truck would just scrape on literally everything because every drop was rock steep. just absolute rock and it was very steep and he kept going he kept plowing down and we knew we were going to hit an area that we call the wall i don't know if it's, it's called, called the wall, wall or the wall. steps or whatever yeah. and when we did it in the jeep a decade ago we had to be winched up the jeep didn't even want to go up it um not easily anyway we probably could have plowed through it and, yeah we could have forced it but, but we didn't want to do that we didn't really want to <clears throat> damage my daily driver so we didn't um but we knew from years from the previous time of doing it, there had been drive arounds for some of yeah, these more a, complicated a bypass. Bypass, yeah, a bypass for more of these complicated terrains. And we had already seen one or two closed prior. Mm -hmm. There was at least one prior yeah, that one, had been that had been blocked off by the Forest Service and we're like, oh, okay, well, whatever. So we make it down there. And at this point, we're tired. I had been walking most of the trail down, and this is twelve. This is over twelve thousand feet. Mm -hmm. But I walked <clears throat> most of the trail down just to spot him throughout the the entire way. And we hit the wall, and it was wow. It way was more washed out. And way, way more chewed up than there, it was. There were typically two difficult routes that you could go, and I, only one of them's pictured. I'm standing in the other one, but the one that's in this picture is where he's standing and it was just like absolutely vertical and trying to go down that in the power wagon without somebody behind us with like a safety rope or mm -hmm. a winch because we were alone at this point we are completely alone on the trail it we had the potential of really damaging <clears throat> if not rolling the truck where i was standing was actually even worse because it was sheer to like a ledge and then another sheer so it's like the just the wheelbase on the truck there's just no way we would have been able to safely do it so we kind of tucked our tails like we realized oh well we completely effed up and it's time to turn around and go back you chose poorly and you made it up all but the second to the last obstacle yeah the there's some steps 
right before you get the trail splits. If you're come out. If you're going down the difficult section, the way we were going, right at the right where the trail splits, there's a set of steps. And then you go down a little further and there's the another set of steps. Rear. And I made it to the I guess second set of steps. Second set of steps, yeah. And uh, that's where the truck sort yeah. of the truck landed the ground. It just I tried stacking some rocks behind the uh, uh, passenger side rear tire because it wasn't gripping and nothing the truck was just it was literally on a 45 <clears throat> if not higher of a degree angle and and it's a power wagon too so it has front and rear lockers and even with the lockers yes yeah, the lockers were engaged like we had everything set up and, and ready and whatever but the truck just wasn't making it so there was a boulder that I don't think is you can I, I kind of slowed the video down because I started to take video when we got the winch hooked up and the strap wasn't st sticking. Like it just kept pulling off the boulder. So in a lot of <clears> struggle, because holy crap, a strap weighs about 10 times more than it should at 12,000 feet. We got it back on the boulder and I stood on the strap. Don't do that. That is like winching 101, stay away from the ropes and the straps, but we were desperate to get out. We had literally still not seen anybody. There was not even anybody was, on the top end of the trail. And it was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, at least gonna stand on it to see if I can keep it. And I was in a position where I could jump off if, if the, the strap- And it's not a kinetic rope. It's a yeah. heavy, heavy truck towing strap. Yeah, it was a tow not strap. A it wasn't strap, a kinetic so. strap like you see in some of these off-road videos. Um, and thankfully, I missed the first pull, which pull, which was the hard part for the truck that didn't it didn't want to come up. But the second two pulls with the winch, the truck came up, and it was just like sweet relief. We were just tired and stressed, and like even the dogs were stressed out because it was a bouncy ride, and they could just kind of feed off of mm -hmm. you know he's not quite panicking, but we're not we're not in a good headspace at this point. We just really wanted to get off the trail, and thankfully we did. And um, yeah. with a couple of bumps and bruises, the truck has some damage to the bed on the passenger side yeah, of the back. It's small, a couple of square um, inches. But. <clears throat> and we had, by we, I mean you, had to bend the bumper back into somewhat of a form because the bumper was bent up and it was starting to damage Bump the, the tailgate, tailgate too. Yeah. And then we kind of angered the truck a little bit. It's due for service anyway, but you replaced a couple of. Um, yeah, the idler and the tensioner pulley were. Yeah. I guess the, the fan, dust and the right whatever didn't help them. The fan clutch is also going, but we have a warranty on the truck, so we're just going to get the dealership to kind of tidy up some of the other things with the truck. But yeah, this was our misadventures on a Jeep trail with a full-size um, truck. Full truck. I don't recommend Poughkeepsie Gulch in anything other than a Jeep. I recommend going with multiple vehicles in the event you get stuck. If you're going to do it at all, make sure you have a winch. Um, and really good rock sliders. Yeah, really good rock sliders because the whole, a lot. like, that in some of this, you could hear just how awful the scraping sound was and the body of the truck completely unscathed. Like, yeah. Mike made really great rock sliders for the truck, and they, they, they're not even damaged. Like... They, they took it like a champ. They did exactly what they were supposed to and protected the body of the truck. So you can do trails with full-size trucks, but try to buddy up. Don't stand on winch cables. <laughs> uh, you know, don't do some of the stuff that we did. We were out there by ourselves and thinking that because we've done this trail before, we could do it again. And <clears throat> maybe with the Jeep, we could have, but... I yeah, like it's... looking at the wall. We both decided like, no, like uh, it's just not worth the risk. It's not worth not having somebody with a winch cable, like slowing us down in case there was some sort of, you mm -hmm. know, bouncing happening or whatever. But yeah, we had a great vacation. We had a great story to tell about it. And you got to kind of finally break in your power wagon after, I don't know how long we've had it, but seven or eight long, years. Yeah. On, on real off-road trails, so I don't know, moral of the story is just get out and do it. Whatever you got, get out and do it and have fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was, that, that trail was a little stressful, so. The rest of the day was fine, because we, we got off the trail, we met up with a Jeep, and we told them not to do it, because they were also by themselves, and they were in a fairly stock Jeep. And we did California Pass, and then had a very late night getting back into Silverton for camp because my God, it takes—I forgot how long it took to get from mm, Aniwas Forks. Forks 
out to an actual reasonable campsite. So, but yeah, we went on vacation with our tow pig and came back in pretty much one piece and we're ready to start racing season. So yeah, I think that covers it. Pretty much. Thanks for following along everybody. Hope you liked this video. I just, I took footage and I thought, come on, it's too much, it's too much not to share. So hope you enjoyed it. And we have more race car updates and we'll probably get back in the scout here sometime this week, mm -hmm. but we're just kind of enjoying the rest of our vacation at the moment. But thanks for following along. We'll see you next time.